This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now. Where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud. For everything. What is this? of reality. When the boundaries of fate are breached, new worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. And in the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Listen to 
the planet cloud. To her ecstatic cries, her rapture. Screaming! It's screaming! Now, Cloud, I thought you might finally understand. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Let go of the past, Cloud. For the future is bright. We are to bear witness to the reunion of worlds. A reunion. I give you my blessing. We meet again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel it, watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, 
It belongs with you. It looks empty. Aerith? Aerith! Aerith! Come back! Tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is... Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And... Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there. All alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. So, Cloud, I heard something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Uh. You don't always have to play the badass, you know. All right, fine. You win. 
He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. It's my fault. It's kind of mine too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Must have been some dream you were having, judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. Got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. <sighs> Is that right? I'd explain, but I don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mist? There is. Do you see them in it too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Uh, why'd I have to open my mouth? Hey Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? Thoughts like? For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk to me or someone at least. All right, I can do that. I've apologized to everyone else, but not to you, so... I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that, since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happen to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still... I'll do what I can to help, and we'll fry those fish together! The Grand Metropolis, where the Ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Gramps told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. Said it was the heart of Cetran civilization, but I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams Fancy Altar. Aerith's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. I'm waiting, Cloud. What is all this? It's the end! <laughs> Sephiroth!
It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet.